Welcome to the first official review of a book. And so today we are going to be discussing The One by John Myers. Now, I actually read this one several months ago, and it was the first book that really jumped out at me um, in, uh, where was it? It was, it was at a store, and I can't remember if it was a bookstore or like a um, grocery store or a Walmart or something, but this book jumped out at me for whatever reason, um, and I think the title, the one, I was, I was probably a little down. This was prior to the pandemic, and I was probably thinking about, you know, the one for me, you know, feeling a bit romantic, and it was, it was something where, you know, I, I read the inside, uh, most likely, and read some of the reviews on it, um, that are always on books, you know, um, and also the, the back cover as well. You know, it says, how far would you go to find the one? And it says, a simple DNA test is all it takes. Just a quick mouth swab, and soon you'll be matched with your perfect partner, the one you're genetically made for. Great introduction. You know, this synopsis is really important to tell the potential reader what the story is about. Now, it goes on to talk about how there's five different views um, within this book and you know there's obviously complications and shocks and twists and turns and everything and so at the beginning of this book it was very brief in terms of introductions for the five views, the five characters and at first, like, I was excited to read it because it's a sci-fi book and, you know, something on science fiction of, you know, DNA matching and love and so it had both of those elements of me being a romantic person and a hopeless romantic, some would call, and that sci-fi element, which is what I absolutely love. And so this book really appealed to me. The cover was really nice as well kind of depicts you know the the five views and the blood and you're kind of thinking oh okay this is very intriguing so the beginning it was I wouldn't say that it was difficult to get into because you were lost but you get these brief introductions to the characters and it's every other chapter right so the first chapter is one character. The second chapter is the next character. So it goes first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and it keeps alternating. And which is fine. I actually wrote a book that was kind of out of sequence similar to this. And as a writer, from a writer's perspective, it's very, very confusing. Very difficult to write. So this was something that I could relate to of it being kind of confusing for the reader. But I think for the writer, it's also a challenge. It's very challenging to write kind of shorter stories within a larger one. And especially if things are out of sequence in terms of a timeline, which is what I had done. But for this book, it worked really well. I actually found myself falling for a lot of the characters in it. It was very well written. The character development was great. There was lots of twists and turns. I think the only pet peeve that I had was the use of um, the word said, which I don't, I didn't see a lot, but basically, I'll, I'll read you just an example. In chapter 19, or Nick, it says, give me that, Nick said, and snatched the phone from her hand, unamused by her prank. Well, Nick said, I mean, I just, for me, it's very cringy 
when you use Hogwarts head because when you're writing and you have quotations you know the person is speaking so if there is a way to identify how the person is presenting those words like if Nick was yelling you could say give me that Nick yelled or give me that Nick demanded so adding that that kind of detail to me is more important than saying said because we know they're speaking so it's kind of redundant in a way so that was probably the only thing that I didn't like about this other than that really well written and I don't remember how much I paid for this one but it cost me at least 20 bucks so for 20 bucks I definitely recommend it um, I'm actually looking forward to reading a lot more books by John Mars. I believe he is a, yeah, I was going to say British author. He's actually, so he's a former journalist based in Northamptonshire, England. And the thing is, this book was great. I actually follow him on Facebook, I believe, and definitely recommend this book. I'm not going to give it a rating. I'm just going to say whether or not I recommend it. I'm going to tell you the good things and the bad things. So overall, this book is really well written. Only that one little detail that I can't stand, which I find is in a lot of books. So that's just kind of a pet peeve of mine. And I try to avoid it at all costs. But this book, the one, if you like sci-fi, well, a sci-fi element, if you like lots of different characters and different scenarios if you like elements of love and the the concept of finding the one in this crazy world that we live in online dating that sort of thing this is actually a really crazy good book definitely recommend it I don't know how much it is now if you were to find it online but the sticker says 20 Canadian so I definitely recommend it. There was nothing like when I when I finished this book, I was I was rather upset that it ended, and I was also upset at how it ended because you have five different characters. So technically, you have five different storylines on the go. So the first one you might say, "Oh, that was a really nice ending," and then the second character comes up and their story ends, and you go, "I didn't like that." And that was one of the crazy things on it because you're on this roller coaster with five different scenarios, five different characters, and then the other characters that are related to their stories as well. And it was it was such a good book. I highly recommend it. And if you do pick up this book and you like it, I suggest looking at other books by John Mars. I'm hoping to get my hands on another one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when, just because the pandemic is making things a little bit difficult and going out and buying uh, books. I actually like going out and looking, especially bargain bins. Um, I think this one might have been discounted a little bit, but that's generally where I get my books from. Anything that is intriguing and cheap, I mean, you are investing, so whether I paid fifty dollars for a book or two dollars it doesn't matter you're investing in yourself because you are getting this opportunity to live multiple lives and for anyone who is creative and and loves reading or even writing books books like this are awesome i absolutely love books like this so yeah i don't want to keep rambling on about it but i definitely recommend it so if you get your hands on this used or brand new i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i did and that'll be it for this review and stay tuned for the next one